we're bringing a new trade case against China. This case involves something called rare earth materials, which are used by American manufacturers to make high-tech products like advanced batteries that power everything from hybrid cars to cell phones. We want our companies building those products right here in America. But to do that, American manufacturers need to have access to rare earth materials, which China supplies. Now, if China would simply let the market work on its own, we'd have no objections. But their policies currently are preventing that from happening. Being able to manufacture advanced batteries and hybrid cars in America is too important for us to stand by and do nothing. We've got to take control of our energy future, and we can't let that energy industry take root in some other country because they were allowed to break the rules. I met John uh, about three years ago. I was trying to figure out what you do with the thorium byproduct, which is a serious problem for the uh, rare earth mining industry. John's going to introduce a resolution to the thorium problem, essentially an answer to the United States energy problem. We're bringing a new trade case against China. This case involves something called rare earth materials, which are used by American manufacturers to make high-tech products like advanced batteries that power everything from hybrid cars to cell phones. We want our companies building those products right here in America. No one's going to build a billion dollar wind turbine factory in Oklahoma when they can't guarantee they've got a supply of dysprosium and neodymium. They won't do it because the finance guys won't let them. So that factory ends up in China. I will make this statement and uh, hopefully nobody throws anything at me, but I would go so far as to say there is no rare earth shortage. Here's a letter from the University of Southern Florida, three confirmed previous studies. They basically throw away 22,000 tons of rare earths every year due to thorium content. So assuming you had a 50% recovery, that basically covers 100% of US's current consumption needs. But to do that, American manufacturers need to have access to rare earth materials, which China supplies. If you resolve the thorium problem, you resolve the rare earth problem. U.S. policy related to thorium essentially guarantees that China will continue to control the rare earth market. And that's because monazites, which are always, almost always, Tony, associated with thorium, are also an excellent source of heavy rare earths. In fact, if you look at it on an aggregate basis, that's the number one source for heavies. If we can't access those sources, we're essentially left with bastocyte carbonatites as the primary source, and they are not good sources for heavies. And that essentially leaves China in the driver's seat on heavies. Now, if China would simply let the market work on its own, we'd have no objections. But their policies currently are preventing that from happening. Being able to manufacture advanced batteries and hybrid cars in America is too important for us to stand by and do nothing. We've got to take control of our energy future, and we can't let that energy industry take root in some other country because they were allowed to break the rules. I sat down with Senator Evan Bayh's staff and the senator, and in the end, he basically said, I don't want to use the word thorium in a piece of legislation because it's going to attract attention. Now, he also agreed with me that if you could create a rare earth cooperative, you could solve the rare earth problem. So what do you do? Move all thorium bearing rare earth products to a centralized rare earth refinery. The refinery would be funded by OEMs who are desperate to get a supply that's not Chinese based. So Hitachi, Mitsubishi, you know, Boeing, anybody who wanted to actually own some of the uh, offtake would invest into the OEM refinery. So now you have your customers as owners of the refinery. So not only have you tied yourself to your end users, but you're saying to them, hey, on good years, we're going to have a profit. Because we're a co-op, we have to write you a check back. So now you're tied very, very closely to your suppliers. It enhances access to capital for those junior mining companies because they have a real offtake agreement they can show their bankers. It eliminates the need to lower environmental standards, to rush projects. The structure that should be impervious to Chinese sovereign monopoly. That solves the rare earth problem. Bring jobs and direct investment back into the United States. In all the countries in the world who are sick and tired of being forced to move their factories to China. It's just bad news doing business in China right now. We're going to just call this a DOE Kodak moment. Because by the same thought process that Kodak found itself out of business, 
the DOE is going to find itself out of business because China's developing this stuff right now. And the former premier son, who's the head of the National Academy of Science, a brilliant the guy, educated Chinese at Academy. Drexel, I'm sorry, Chinese Academy of Science, he said, hey, we're going to commercialize the thorium reactor and we're going to control global IP. Mm -hmm. If they have global IP, when we want to use this system to turn oil into coal or tar sands into oil, they're going to be making top line revenue right off us on our own technology. Our energy, no matter what, forever is going to cost more than their energy. They just announced that they have uh, run what they call a salt loop, put in neutronic stand-ins in the salt loop. When you start putting neutronic stand-ins in, that means you're, you're at the doorstep of commercializing this. What are we going to do then, right, as a country? They're smart. They got brains just, you know, like anyone. So they're going to have design, engineering, cheap labor, lots of resources. And if we add clean, abundant energy to that mix, well, that, where is that going to leave the West? We need to have two parties in this. We need to have competition. Monopolies uh, are going to hurt us. We can already see from rare earths what Chinese monopoly of rare earth has been doing to industry. Imagine if they had a monopoly on energy.